like I was saying, your hypothenar muscles all your this lot the first two lumbricals there's something called pad and dab pad means palmar muscles and the palmar interosters and the dorsal interosters muscle which allows you to adduct that's pad and abduct for that. So the palmar interossei muscle allows you to adduct your dorsal interossei muscle allows you to abduct and it's one more, there's an adductor pollicis right at the back of your hand right here that allows you actually to adduct your thumb. That's the only exception in when the median nerve actually doesn't really take care of the thumb. And I kind of call the thumb the police department. That's why everything is policies. It's very cute. Remember that. So, what happens if your ulnar nerve is damaged? The patient, you guys are, make a fist. Make a fist. And they're like, oh, that. Oh, I can't do that. I shouldn't do that. Like, what are you doing, dude? Make a fist. Ulnar nerve is out. They make a claw hand. Right? Because the first two lumbricals are out and they can't really, and they can't adduct this hand anyway, so it kind of looks like a claw. Because, you know, for you, you know, you can't make a fist because the adductor has to allow you to adduct, so you keep it that way and you kind of do that. See that? Because they can say flex this, but they can't flex, but this looks like they're partially flexed. That's called claw hand. You have to know that. The last but not the least is to go back to the beginning and talk about the root injury. Usually when we deliver babies in the hospital, we pull on their neck like this. We literally yank their neck out. During delivery, if you pull the neck of, a, of, a, of the new baby, you can rupture the roots of the brachial plexus at C5 and C6, even C7. And the patient is going to come back and develop something called Herb Duchenne's palsy. Because You've knocked out a couple of muscles here and they can't really function and the only thing that's pulling is actually the latissimus dorsal which is adducting and the lats and allows actually actually have something called a wettish tip. We call that herb Duchenne's palsy. And last but not the least is when patients have a rupture of C8 and T1. Somebody goes and tries to jump on a tree, yanks off and falls off and, rub and pulls literally so hard they can pull up the C8 and T1 right here, all of a sudden, they develop something called clumpus palsy. How do you remember which is herb duchenne and which is clumpy? You know how I remember? Since C5 comes before C8 and T1, and E comes before K, herb duchenne, and K is the last. We call it clumpus palsy. See how easy the brachial plexus can be. If you just know this beautiful too low, 75% of the muscle of your hands, BBC, Delirium tremens for the delta and uh, teres minor for the axillary, the best muscles. Your life is easy. That's it, guys. All right, I'm hoping, I hope you guys learned a lot. I know it's a lot of information, but it comes with practice. The more you practice this, the more you know it. And you know the best thing you can do? If you're learning this in corresponding with your uh, laboratory anatomy course, go to the lab. Know the structure code. Then go on the body and actually tug on these nerves. You actually be able to see how it, oh, it's going right through the muscle. And that even makes a lot more sense. The more you practice, the more you know it. There's no secret about this, guys. You know, you, you can make this personal for life and be able to spit out exactly like, just like I did. But in the end, it's left up to you. All right. This is going to be the end of our lecture to today. I hope you guys learned a lot. Uh, I'll be back again with a couple of lectures. I want you to guys to uh, check me out on thinkpositiveincorporated.com. Um, you know, I try to put a couple of videos on my website and try to keep you updated. If you want any video, any topic, let me know. I'll help you guys out if I can. All right? Thank you guys, and God bless. Think positive, think positive and stay tight. Take care. Bye-bye.